morning everyone. How are you all? Mint. Glad to hear it. Ah, uh, so I am severely contoured right now. <laughs> Uh, done a bit of a cream contour, chuck some powder over the top of it because I feel like being chiseled today, bitch. <coughs> oh, I breathed in wrong. You'd think I'd have enough practice breathing, wouldn't you? Uh, so yes, we are severely contoured today. We have a very heavy base on, um, but I'm loving it. This was actually the Huda Beauty mixed with L'Oreal Pro Glow that does not exist anymore and this is very likely off but it works it's going great um, so yeah I do cut that foundation down because it needs it uh, and I find that yeah it's nice it's a little bit more comfortable so today I'm vibing some real browns like kind of like cat eye brown gold that kind of stuff I go through phases like that it's really bizarre if you feel like you'd be interested in this kind of vibe Keep watching. All right, so I have got my base on. There's a bit of concealer and foundation on my lid, but I am going to need a little bit more just to stick that product onto my eyes. So I'm just taking the Sculpting Concealer by Too Faced, and we're going to take a concealer brush. All I'm gonna do is carve my brows out. So the same old shit that I do all the time. Oh, great, we're looking great gonna be a good day. Oh, concealer's running out. You dog. It's expensive shit for a concealer. But I do love it. I really do love it. Alright, we're just gonna use our finger to blend that into the skin. Take him right out into the wing area because yeah, we're gonna be putting eyeshadow there so you do need to address that. Alrighty, so we're going in with a dark, dark brown eyeshadow. Any fucking palette will work. If you're going into a wet concealer, your eyeshadow will have 10 times more pigment. Trust. So go back to an old palette that you thought was shitty pigment. If you've been going into a dry set base, try onto a wet concealer. You might be pleasantly surprised. I'm going to start pressing that into the outer corner. The reason I'm using pressing motions is to really set that concealer base. Now I'm going to look straight ahead. I'm going to make sure that that line is in line with that bottom water line. I'm going to get that angle correct. Right, do the touch test. If that's dry, you've got enough on there. She's set. She ain't going anywhere. I had some bitch comment on one of my videos. She's like, you always do brown. Do something different. The post before that was a fucking rainbow cut crease. People are so dumb. Embarrassed for them. All right, we're just gonna edge our way towards that inner corner there, making sure when I look straight ahead, we can see the shadow above the crease. So we're using hooded eye techniques here, going high enough to see the bitch. Because what's the fucking point? All right, let's just not taking any extra product, but I'm just gonna work with what I've got to give that seamless sweep out. That took two seconds. Now, every now and then I wipe my brush on the towel I got in front of me, and I'm just gonna tickle at the edges. I'm gonna take the excess into that inner corner. By using this technique, we only have to use one shade. The one brush, seamless. All right, we've gone for that real lift. Now I'm just gonna take a like a lighter beige tone shadow. I'm just gonna set in to the areas like the brow bone, all that kind of shit that I haven't touched. And if you ever need to clean up a winged shadow, just take your uh, face powder. Whatever you used on your face, a pigmented, preferably like a powder foundation, or even a beige eyeshadow, and you can clean up your wing, get it a little bit sharper. All right, so we're going to take a beige now, and I'm just going to pat that into the inner half, just to give a slight highlight to keep with that classic eye style. And then I might stick with the uh, highlighter highlighter for the inner corner. I was going to go with some golds, wasn't I, Lord? but I might keep that for the inner corner when I do the face. Now we are going to just feather this across the lash line and then I'm going to blend it out slightly with an angle brush. 
So it's another way of doing a liner. If you guys want to define the top line, but you're scared of liquid liner, don't, don't blame me. Then use a pencil. It's great. Even an eyeshadow. All right, so I'm going to look down when I do this. I'm going to keep this as close to my lashes as possible and just inch my way across. Kick it up slightly at the outer corner. We're not going for a wing. We're just helping with that lift. If you bring that down, you've dragged the eye down. So no matter what we've got going up here, you've got that angle coming down. It's going to drag your eye down. This is the Model Rock Full Spectrum Liner in Espresso, is it? And I love this liner. It's my favorite brown liner. I use this on a lot of my brides. Right? How nice is that? I don't even think I have to blend that out. If you want to blend it out though, take an angle brush and just work at the edge. And if you have slightly textured eyelids, uh, this will help to give that more smooth liner appearance without the I might go for a nude ward line. So keep with the aggression up top there. The nude ward line is going to brighten my eyes up, but we're going to smoke out the lash line to bring that definition back. It's really important. Fuck. Oi. <laughs> Damn me. Nah, not even on that ballsy. But I do stock Model Rock lashes on my website now, guys. In case you didn't know. Really excited about that. So yeah, we're going for more of a fluffy lash because I do want to let this bit of a lid through, right? So we're, we're going more relaxed. Yeah, nice fluff, uh, nice fluffy kind of vibe. Some lashes have way too much volume, so you're just cutting the whole lid out. You reckon? This is a model's prefer nude liner. I do really like them. Very brightening, actually more brightening than some of the high-end ones. It goes to show, don't get caught up in bougie ass brands. Makeup is fucking makeup. All right, taking a flat brush here. We're going in with that same original brown. I'm gonna look up into a mirror. Here we go, look up into a mirror. And I'm going to smoke out that lash line. This is to bring some definition. I'm going to show you the difference between both eyes. Looks good, eh? Looks good. Look at the difference, bitch! <sighs> Ask any of my clients how excited I get about an under eye smoke. <laughs> I'm way too enthusiastic. I've got a mirror behind you and that's why I keep looking to the side because it's kind of like the truth mirror. If I can have a look at it from a distance, I can see if it's even or not. It's different to looking up close to something than a little bit further away. <sighs> That'll do it. Urban Decay All Nighter. Now we're gonna highlight. So we're gonna go into the Be Perfect Shape, sh shape Shifter. Zachary Vang and I'm going to just use my pinky Taking the lighter shade here. I'm just gonna pop some highlight into the inner corner cheekbone highlight I've got these Fenty uh, Beauty uh, Fenty glow gloss bomb. I might actually just put the gloss on I've changed my mind about the liner That's a nice color what is that? Is it just Fenty Glow? Yeah, I think that's it. That's quite nice. They are sticky AF though. So if you're not into sticky gloss, you're gonna hate this. All right, one more setting spray all over the face. Morphe Continuous Mist. I love it, it's my always my final setup. And guys, that is today's look. What do you reckon? That's nice, hey? This would suit everyone. You just adjust the lashes if you don't want them crazy. You can just adjust the lid. You can put a bit of a shimmer on the lid, bit of highlighter. <sighs> I like it. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go to Perth. 
Um, but guys, thank you for watching that tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope you learned a thing or two, and I'll chat to you in my next one. All right, see you guys.